Hi, welcome. What I'm going to show you today is how to glue up your bamboo rod. Uh, what I have here is a butt section that's been planed down to final dimension and is ready for the glue. I'm going to show you how to glue this up without using any binders, any two ratio glues, any weights. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to hand bind and I'm going to be using just regular old type on 3 glue. So you can find this at any big box hardware store. It's a really good glue for bamboo fly rods. Uh, my opinion, one of the best glues out there, ease of use. Uh, what I have here uh, is a rod prepped, ready to go. There's important things to remember when prepping to get ready for glue. Uh, I use regular masking tape to hold the shape. And then once I have the shape of the blank, I use an X-Acto knife and I carefully slice down each little tape band and then open my rod up and there you can see the inside of a six strip rod. Uh, once I get to this point I work around all these little pieces of tape and I carefully peel it back just a little bit. What I'm trying to avoid is any of that tape to get in on the side of any of these blinds. Also very careful to dust my rod off and the toothbrush that I'm going to use to apply the glue I want to make sure it has no loose bristles. Any foreign object that gets inside my rod during glue up and bound together is going to cause a pretty good glue line so I want to take extra care and extra prep. It only takes a few extra minutes to have a really great rod and now is not time to take any shortcuts in your building. The thread I'm using is just standard Cox and Clark's glaze thread. Nothing special. Uh, well, I guess it is special. It's the kind of thread I use. Uh, I weigh it down with the book. What I'm looking for is about maybe a pound to a pound and a half of resistance. Just something you feel. I get ready. I got a double overhand knot in here. Ready to start off my hand binding. Uh, I got wax paper laid down. Uh, this is so, once everything's all glued, there's going to be a lot of it everywhere. The broad blank will not stick to here. I got water ready. Uh, type on 3 cleans up with water. One of the things I really love about the glue. Uh, once it dries, it is waterproof. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's designed for the water. It's got a duck right on the label. Uh, got a rag handy. Things are going to get messy. Uh, and... That's it. Uh, once I apply the glue, I want to clamp it together and I'm going to bind it by hand. The glue is going to go on with the toothbrush. What I'm going to be looking for is a nice, thin, even layer. I don't want it thick and gummy. The more glue in there, the more I'm going to have to squeeze it to work it out. I want the whole thing covered. I don't want any dry spaces. I don't want any starved joints, so not too much tension. It's just one of those things, once you get your hands in there, uh, you feel what you're doing, you know what you're doing, it just comes natural. Squeeze the glue out, but don't starve the joints. Right. And one thing that does help is to have two people hold the rod. Uh, we'll try to do it with just me. And if I'm having a problem, need a second hand, we just might lose a camera person. I got my glue and I kind of like this to work the edges out, just kind of smear it around. Type on has a working time of about five minutes. Uh, five minutes is a lot more time than what you think, but when you're wrapping up the rod, it certainly doesn't seem like enough time. So you don't have to work extra fast, but you do have to work at a pretty steady pace. Be afraid to waste a little glue. It's always nice just to have some right where you need it. Pay extra careful attention. You don't lose a bristle. If you do lose a bristle or you find a 
big piece of dust or sliver, uh, grab a sewing needle. I keep one handy to kind of pick it out in the glue. check, make sure I have glue, make sure it's on the outside edge. It shouldn't be on too thick, but you shouldn't be wiping it off either. Just to make sure all my strips lay straight. Uh, with butt section, it's pretty easy. When you start working with tips, you might have one that wants to twist on you. All right, now I got my general shape of the rod. I'm gonna take my thread. I already have the double loop already tied, so don't have to worry about it. Tighten it up, and now I'm gonna be clamping some pressure as I spin. Uh, what I'm looking to do is just kind of squeeze the glue on the joints a little bit. I hold my rod up to the angle just a little bit. You want to support the rod the best you can. tendency to tighten up on itself. Alright, we got the blank all bound up. Uh, looks good, everything's tight, looks like everything's sealed up really good. Uh, one little tip, when you're done gluing, you want to roll your blank on a flat surface. It's going to take out some kinks, it's going to take out some sweeps and bends. Um, you'll get straight blanks. You might have to do a little straightening, but you get them out now for the glue sets. You're not going to have to worry about too much. Just a nice little extra step that you can do that's going to save yourself a crooked stick down the road. So take some time and roll your strips out. Once you get them glued, uh, I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours. 24 hours after this, I'm going to remove the string and I'm going to start sanding and cutting it to the length. We'll see you then.